German Expressionism. What is it? Where did it come from? German Expressionism was an artistic movement present in Europe during the early 19th century, a subgenre of art cinema, which was often defined against mainstream and commercial film industries, particularly Hollywood-style filmmaking, which had a very standardized system of production, distribution, and exhibition at the time. However, after the First World War, German Expressionism rose to higher popularity and cultural acceptance, what Siegfried Krauscher has described as the intellectual excitement surging through Germany after the war. German Expressionism was a method for the artists of the day to voice their take on political movements and to provide a commentary on post-war Germany. Characterised by its abstract interpretation of the world, contorting and twisting every part of a story's setting to silently protest anything taken for granted or considered normal. Apart from the documentary films of everyday life, which had been part of cinema going from its very outset, the narrative film quickly established itself as a staple of the main program in cinemas throughout the country. As a direct result of this came Metropolis, a film now synonymous with the German Expressionism movement released in 1927, directed by Fritz Lang. It was released during the height of German Expressionism and became the standard to which other German Expressionist films were measured, designed specifically to evoke what had been summarised as the shock of freedom. Metropolis explores the relationship between the classes, comparing the lustrous and extravagant lives of the rich and educated in their mighty city of imposing skyscrapers and the lives of the lower working class in the city beneath the earth's surface, sacrificing their lives to the service of machines in order to keep the enormous city above running smoothly. Seen from the perspective of Freda, the young son of a powerful city planner. Throughout the film, the audience follows Freda's journey to discovering the truth that lies beneath the surface, the gruelling and torturous lives of the working class and the utter contempt and disregard for them held by his father. In this audiovisual essay, I will be listing some of the ways in which Metropolis demonstrates German Expressionism. The first of which, exaggerated acting and makeup. As is evident throughout the entire film, actors are covered in makeup designed to specifically convey the inner reality of the character, such as a deep, darkened eye to display sadness or sinister intent. With the addition of the melodramatic acting style, these two creative tactics are used to ensure there is no confusion as to what the character may be feeling. Designed with the purpose to practically scream what the character is feeling at the audience. Once again, an example of German expressionism using the outer world to convey what is occurring within. The next example of German expressionism techniques used in this film is stylized set design. All of the sets used in Metropolis are beautifully made, extravagant sets. So extravagant, in fact, that the sheer size and imposing nature of them leaves the viewer feeling as though they were looking upon another world entirely, conveying very subtly the artist's commentary on the post-war world through the purposeful use of distortion. Finally, another example of the many German expressionism techniques used in this film is its detachment from reality and its impossible nature. The enormous skylines filled with raised roads and plains. An entire city located beneath the surface acting as a metaphorical and physical divide between the upper and lower classes. The greatest example of this technique is the introduction of the machine man created by the mad scientist of the film the use of which would cause Metropolis to become arguably one of the first science fiction films ever to exist. To put it simply, Metropolis was made not to reflect reality, but to express the feelings of those who had been abandoned by their country's leaders, outlining the huge divide that existed between those that gave the orders and those who had suffered the consequences of carrying them out. Thank you.